Kim Holmes, Heritage Foundation fellow and former assistant secretary of state under George W. Bush. So, Kim, what do you think Russia is up to? Well, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, they've done this before. Of course, last summer in August, they turned up the heat by not only amassing uh, troops on the border, but actually sending some troops into Ukraine. It could be uh, partly some rotation of troops. It could be they're responding to some NATO op uh, exercises that occurred in the Baltics or in Georgia. Or, and this is my favorite theory, I think they're trying to turn the heat up because they know that the Europeans are going to be having a meeting in June of the European Union. And this is when uh, possibly uh, there will be a lot of discussion where they continue the sanctions. And one of Putin's favorite tactics is to turn up the heat and then turn it off. Uh, it scared the daylights out of the Europeans, but then when he releases that, uh, they feel like, well, perhaps this is uh, something I don't want to go through an awfully lot. Uh, because I think his overall strategy is to try to get uh, the sanctions against uh, Russia lifted. Well, I'm just wondering if, if, if he does have overall game plans that include taking over more of Ukraine, if not all of Ukraine, uh, would he want, wouldn't he want to do that during this administration? Because after that reset, I think he has a better of it. He, he thinks he has it anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that, that, that if, if he wants to go further, I think he certainly would do that. Uh, but I, I think that probably the most likely thing that Putin would want to do uh, beyond what he's already done, which is basically create a frozen conflict inside eastern Ukraine, uh, is if he wanted to step this up a notch, uh, he could try to use uh, his own forces uh, overtly to build a land bridge to Crimea or to the, uh, the port city of Mariupol in the south. But that would be overt. There's nothing you could hide about doing that. Uh, it would be clear to the entire world that Russian forces had invaded Ukraine. So that would significantly be up in the ante. Uh, and that would not, I think, uh, build into his strategy of trying to relieve the sanctions on him. Now, I'm sure when you were at the State Department, you had to game out various possibilities. And I'm sure this administration is doing the same. What do you think they think is going to happen to Europe if Russia becomes even more aggressive than it has been? Well, the Europeans are, of course, dealing with a very slow economy, uh, with the exception, of perhaps, of the British economy. Even the German economy is suffering. And the last thing that the European economy needs and the stock markets need there is more uncertainty and, and more terror coming out of what's happened in Ukraine. Uh, I think that uh, if I were in Putin's shoes, I know that if I raise the temperature uh, by putting these troops on the Ukrainian border, uh, I create more uncertainty on the Europeans uh, who are worried about their economy, and this creates just another incentive for them to try to lobby the United States to uh, lift the sanctions. Keep in mind that Secretary of State John Kerry had a meeting with Putin uh, just over a week ago in Sochi, uh, and the signal yeah. coming from that was clearly that the United States was going to start uh, pulling back on its pressure on Ukraine. And I'm sure that the Europeans got the message, if the Americans are not being all that hard line, then we can start trying to lobby for lifting the sanctions. So I think this is pretty much in Putin's mind. He's trying to game this out, how he can get the sanctions lifted. Quick last question, Kim. Uh, Hillary's reset with Putin clearly was a disaster. I mean, after the reset is when they went into Crimea, et cetera. Is, do you think he might be hoping that Hillary Clinton wins the election? <laughs> well, who knows what he's hoping. I think what he certainly hopes for is he doesn't want to have a, a strong U.S. president who's going to be pushing back harder on him because he's got the best of all possible worlds right now. If you had the situation where the United States is the weak read uh, and the Europeans, in case, some cases even the French, are stronger on the Russians in Ukraine than the Americans are, uh, this is uh, just a wonderful thing in Putin's mind. And certainly that is not something he would want to change. And if he were looking at the uh, former Secretary of State as the next president, you could see how he may draw the conclusion that you could get more of the same uh, under that president that you've had under this one. Kim